What's up guys, it's Tobias here and welcome to my next episode of my 25,000 coin dream team. If you're new to my channel, as always, basically what this series is, is you guys give me a squad to build with a budget of 25,000 coins, which means you guys with the little amount of coins, such as 25,000, will be able to go and make these kind of squads. Because obviously there's all the sorts of squad builders on YouTube, but everyone's doing like 750,000 uh, coin squad builders, which not everyone can afford. So I did give myself a budget allocation of 25,000 coins and you guys seem to love it every single week so last week's in the episode I did ask for over I did ask for 200 likes and it smashed well over 200 likes so thank you ever so much for that the top rated comment was make a Belgium squad so as you can see in this video we are going to be going through the 25,000 coin dream team Belgium squad which I have made with the said 25,000 coins at the end of this video please don't forget to like and comment on the video leave a comment saying which squad you would like me to make and as always open up that description check the playlist because you might have commented saying a squad with which I've already made in this series. So getting straight into it then, as you can see, I'm playing a Belgium squad. I did want that left winger and right winger position as well as some mid, uh, centre mids. So I did go for that 4-3-3 formation. It was it's probably the more expensive uh, formations. Um, I did actually have to buy a formation card for one of the players because I accidentally bought him out of formation. I just couldn't be bothered to go and rebuy him in the correct formation. But as, as I said, this is a 25,000 coin team. So this totaled at 24,750 coins. So it's literally just under 25,000 coins and I'm just going to be running through it now for you. So in goal then we've got probably the most um, the most common goalkeeper, Belgium goalkeeper. We've got Courtois, 79 rated. He does come in at 1,400 coins. So for a goalkeeper he is fairly cheap. He isn't even 80 rated. He is only 79 rated. I don't know why. He's got handling of just under 90. Handling 89 with only 79 rated overall. Don't know how that one works out. Uh, but he does have lower stats such as positioning and diving which is why he is only 79 rated and just come in at 1,400 coins. Moving on to the moving on to the defence, then we've got Tishamanga uh, at left back. The reason I did go for him, I do love my pace in my defence more than anything. Um, if you don't have pacey defenders on FIFA 13, I just find you're absolutely going to get butt raped. So as you can see, even though he's only a silver and he's only 68 rated overall, he's got 92 pace, which is probably one of the quickest defenders in the game. Um, the rest of his stats don't fare too badly either. 72 dribbling, 65 defending and 68 heading. Um, but because of his pace, he is a little bit more expensive, not too much, and he does come in at 2,500 coins. Um, and he is left-footed, obviously being a left-back, but because of his pace, he's an absolute monster. Um, in the centre-back then, we've got Vermaelen. Um, the story is, basically, I think he's one of the best centre-backs in the game. Obviously, me building a Belgium squad, I did have to get him in here. And even though I did give myself, I did have a budget, obviously, with 25,000 coins, I did shell out over 7,000 coins just on one player alone. And considering they're only 72 rated, that is an extremely lot of coins for this squad um, in relation to the budget I had and the rating of the player. But nonetheless, as I said, I genuinely think he's one of the best centre-backs in FIFA 13. If you don't believe me, go and watch my game against Capgun Tom. He had one of the best Brazilian teams you could build. And I had a bog-standard um, Barclays Premier League team. And Vermaelen was the best player in that game by a country mile. So that is my reason why I did shell out 7,200 coins for Vermaelen. Um, didn't mean to swap them around, but it doesn't matter. I swap them back anyway. Um, next to him then in the centre back we've got Vertonghen then from Tottenham the newly transferred this season 81 rated and as he's a non-rare and only 81 rated he does come in a lot cheaper than the other uh, other defenders in the squad he is the cheapest I believe at only 2,000 coins um, which isn't too bad at all he is 6 foot 2 so he does have a good head on him when defending a corner um, and he is a pretty standard uh, centre back really there's no major faults there's no major um, advantages to him he's just a good standard centre back to have in this squad um, again in the right back here then we have Delat. Um, obviously he is only a 67 rated player so he is a silver but again he is fairly quick with 87 pace which for a defender is extremely quick um, a lot of defenders on this game are extremely slow especially the center backs so having those quick left backs and right backs do mean that if you ever get counted by your opposition you can always get your left back and right back or any defender you have which has a lot of pace to get back and just hold that counter attack so all your players can get back and help defend and hopefully prevent yourself from conceding a goal with that eight, um, with that 87 pace he is obviously going to cost a little bit more than all the other um, silver Belgium cent uh, defenders sorry so he does come in at a price of 1500 coins but he does have a four star weak foot as well um, so that is another advantage of him even though he is only a silver rated player moving on to the midfield then that is the defense covered I will start with Fellaini he is probably 
one of the best um, Premiership centre, centre mids in this game. I know I just said Premiership. Um, I would say Belgian, but they are better than him, I know. Um, but that said, he's probably, uh, many people would argue that online he does play as probably one of the best centre mids, um, Belgium at centre mids. Um, that said, he did cost me 4,700 coins, so him and Van Marlen did cost me the majority, like, nearly 50% of what this squad's budget is but that said he is probably he is an absolute beast online he is six foot four as well so he is quite tall um, again so the corners defending and attacking he is always great help to have in the center of the box just to help attack or defend those corners next to him then I have the third silver in this squad we've got Smolders um, I've only played th uh, four games with this squad but personally he is the one player that stands out for me he's extremely slow and I do like my pace in FIFA 13's ultimate team so I was questioning whether or not to have him in this squad because 34 pace that is extremely slow but um, I did go ahead and buy him because he is 71 rated and he was a lot better than all the other silver centre mids which were Belgium um, and he's probably one of the best players in this squad overall I have felt online whenever you play online it's always him getting on the ball it's always him making the passing um, if you look there his passing is only 70 which isn't that high at all if anything it's some people consider it low but when you play online he's always the guy getting on the ball and creating the um, opportunities for your squad which if you make the squad I can guarantee you'll um, you'll notice as well we've got Witzel then the final um, center mid in this squad from Zenit again he's not even a rare he's the same as Batongan then um, only 81 rated and he does come in at a really cheap cost of 700 coins but that said he does have dribbling of 85 so sticking him in the central center mid position would be a good idea as well but I do prefer the pace to be on the outside so I can leave a slower player as I have here 35 pace in the center central midfield position um, so they are the midfielders obviously moving on to the forwards then we've got three of them playing the 4-3-3 formation I will start on the right hand side it's our final uh, fourth and final uh, silver of this squad 65 rated Raman with 91 pace so if he does get him on the right hand side stick him in the corner and he will actually just rape literally any um, left back in the game unless they have an extremely quick one for example with cliche you could come up against every could come up against uh, but most of the time you're going to be coming up against a left back with uh, a lot of a less pace than 91 so he's always got the advantage when taking on the opposition's defense with that pace he does he does come in at 350 coins I did I was literally about to say that he does come for thousands um, but for some reason I had in my head he did come for, um, cost a few thousand coins but he actually cost me 350 coins which is the cheapest in this squad by a country mile and considering he's got 91 pace which is extremely quick um, especially with having three forwards in your squad is extremely cheap so again he's an absolute monster he's only got 55 shooting which is a downside uh, but with that pace normally you can just get through the opposition defense and hopefully you'll be leading on to a one-on-one position um, one-on-one uh, with the opposition's goalkeeper so hopefully that 55 shooting will normally just get the ball into the back of the net which is what you are always trying to do um, we've got Lam then on the left hand side uh, Lamar sorry on the left wing here he's only 75 rated but again he's got 90 pace so he's an absolute god up front um, as you can see as you can probably probably tell but I haven't even covered Morales yet I can assure you you're all aware that he is also a quick player so these th these three uh, quick players up front gives you a massive advantage over your opposition's defense um, and Lamar uh, actually does come in at 2300 because of his pace even though he's only 75 rated overall he does come in at 2300 coins so finally then as I just mentioned we've got Morales the newly transferred this season I believe um, to Everton I think he's had an absolutely outstanding season so far at Everton 88 pace obviously he doesn't even reach the 80 boundary overall he's only 78 rated overall and he does come in at um, 1060 600 coins but the way he plays online I personally think that is way 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 too cheap he's an absolute beast of a striker um, so that is the squad I've made with the 25,000 coins overall I would give this squad a 7 out of 10 I was I'm an hiring about 6 or a 7 because I did spend too many coins on Vermaelen and Fellaini they did take up nearly 50% of the squad's budget but that said we do have some other gems in here as well such as the left back and the right back especially with their pace I would highly recommend to play this um, use this squad online because uh, it is always great to get back on the opposition's counter attack with those quick left backs and right backs still as I said at the beginning of this video this squad did cost me two uh, 20 24,750 coins I hope you did enjoy this episode if you 
did leave a like rating and as always open that comment section leave a comment saying what squad you would like me to um, make next week and I'll make it with the 25,000 coins so as always if we can smash over 200 likes again that would be absolutely awesome so thank you ever so much if we do and until my next episode I'll speak to you guys later take care